we got a special guest. I had to kind of try him to come on the show a little bit with a little bit of trash talking, but it's our good friend Lorenzo <laughs> Malden. Lorenzo, it's Joe Tyson. What's up, man? <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> Lorenzo, uh, first of all, thank you for your time, man. I know you're pretty busy and it's, you got a lot going on, so we definitely appreciate it. No, nah, there's no problem at all. Said I come on, I'd love to come on in and, and try to get my type of uh, expertise. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lorenzo, before we talk some football, this past Sunday you had a chance to hang out with a bunch of kids to support Big Brothers, Big Sisters. How cool was that for you, man? Because these kids had a blast playing like football and basketball with you. Um, it's great, man. Anything with kids, I love. I love doing um, things with man because. You know, I never got never got that chance never got that chance to uh, deal with that when I was a young kid. Have the guys come out and you know show love to show love to the kids and be able to play games with them and spend the, spend your day with them. So I mean, I, I enjoy that type of stuff and I do that stuff for a living. So it's a, it's always a good feeling that's in my heart at, at the end of the day. You know, the funny thing was, man, you're you're playing some basketball, and these kids are like, Lozo, I want to play you, and I want to beat you. I mean, was it was that cool to experience these kids, like, to look in their eyes, just how happy they were to just, like, challenge you? Yeah, that, that, that type of stuff is influential, man. It's like seeing these kids with, with the ambition they have at such a young age, it's so – it feels good, you know, to to know that these kids have a, uh, have a chance because they're giving themselves a chance to uh, mentally to, to – to get out in the world and want to and want to be great, want to be and want to do something to uh, that's beneficial towards their lives. Lorenzo, my name is Joe. Man, I want to welcome you to the show. I also want to thank you for everything that you did. You know, with those children as well. Those were super impactful stuff. Uh, you're one of the guys, man. I'm on the bandwagon. I I've got your back 100. percent I cannot wait to see you on the squad this year. And I just want to know, man, as you head into training camp, how are you feeling health wise? Health wise, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I feel better than I've ever felt That's since I first started playing ball, man. Because <clears throat> you know I was dealing with the back problem in college, and it was kind of uh, it's kind of like you know lingering around, but I was able to push through it. But now that the the actual back problem is gone, it's completely gone. I feel 100%, 110% ready to go, ready to get back in the past, man. Sitting out a whole year kind of uh, did something to me mentally and physically. So I feel like I, I, you know, once I finally hit that field again with the pass on, I feel like a new player, a new man. Yo, Lorenzo, when, when we saw you on Sunday, man, you look huge. I mean, like, did you put on a lot of muscle or size? Or, dude, you like, you look enormous. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm um, – I'm uh, I'm probably about like 265 right now. Um, I'm supposed to be in the camp at uh, 258. So let's see. We're gonna pray to the football guys that I get down there. <laughs> but uh, definitely, um, I've been I put on some uh some muscle uh some muscle weight. Uh, I think before I uh before we left for the um the season after the season uh, last year, um I I came in at like 12 percent body fat. So my my biggest thing was to drop the body fat and and um and put on more muscle weight. So uh, we're going to see um, on uh, on report day when <clears throat> when we get weighed in and everything to see where I'm at. But definitely put on some more muscle weight. Lorenzo, you spoke earlier about having to sit out that time uh, last year and how it helped you heal up from your back. But were you able to learn anything last year just sitting back and watching your teammates? Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, I see, I see the chemistry between the guys. Definitely, you know, even those close games where we could have won in the fourth quarter, and I mean, these the guys didn't give up, and I just felt good to me, you know, not being able. I mean, to see it from from the couch, you know, just to see like, oh, this is what these guys are really like going through. This is what we go through when we go through our season. No matter how far we're down or or how close we are to winning, these guys never give up in the in the in the, in the fourth quarter. So. Uh, it feels good to know that, that that my teammates are not guys that I just uh, roll over and lay on their back when you know when times get rough. And definitely, I feel like I, I was able to be in my playbook. I was able to uh, uh, understand what what my job is to do when I come back. I have to um, pretty much put more emphasis on what I do as, as getting to the quarterback. Uh, you know, they said that um, we had a problem last year with that, um, but I mean. I feel like I could come back and help with that, with that, uh, 
with that 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 instance that we that we were losing. So I, if if anything, help my my other teammates <clears throat> if I'm not out there to uh, motivate them and, and push them to uh, get to the quarterback as well. So definitely learned a lot about the team, and I feel good just coming back and being able to be a part of. It. And when you were talking about getting to the quarterback, in, in your opinion, do you prefer rather getting to the quarterback with your hand in the dirt, or are you looking to come back next year and be standing up and be blitzing a little bit more? Um, you know what? Uh, I, that's kind of fifty-fifty because I, I feel like I have more power with my hand in the dirt, or uh, more power, more speed with my hand in the dirt. You know, coming out of that 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 track stance or whatever, but um, standing up pretty much it, it, it has this it has this up. Uh, more than downs because you get to see the whole formation of the uh, um, of the offense and you get to understand and get uh, pre snap key reads and everything. So uh, it's it's it, like I said, it's fifty fifty. I, I feel good in both positions um, from, from actually standing up um, for what for, for four years, five years. Uh, it feels good to to actually you know come out of a two point stance, but I definitely can. I definitely won't doubt coming out of a three point stance is. It, it, it will be a hard thing. Once again, we're speaking with Lorenzo Malden, who is cool enough to give us a few minutes. Lorenzo, this offseason, it seems like a lot of members of the media are, like, doubting you and kind of maybe, like, writing you off a little bit or kind of criticizing you. Does that bother you at all, or does that do you at all? No, to be honest, it really doesn't. Um, I know it's part of the game. I mean, the fans, you're going to have some, some, some diehard fans. You're going to have some fans that are – that are kind of skeptical on, on players coming back from injury. I mean, it, it happens. Some players come back, bounce back from injuries, and some players don't. So, um, I'm, my message to to all of those critics and, and, and doubters. Uh, I mean, I'm not that player that's not going to bounce back. I always bounce back regardless, um, whether it's a, a life journey or whether it's football. It doesn't matter. I always bounce back. Yeah, and you know, we're big fans, yours, man. We we definitely get that as well, and. One of the one of the moves on linebacker that was kind of interesting was the, the signing of Avery Williamson. What was your thought on his signing? How did he look early on? Oh, I, I, Avery's a good friend. Um, I, I've known him uh, what since my first. Uh, I've known him from uh, actually from school. He he went to uh, UK and I went to Louisville, so it's like I've, I've played against him and everything. And uh, he's a great he's a great middle linebacker. He's definitely going to be a, a, a good. Uh, substitution for Demario uh, Davis. So um, coming in and being able to have that experience and that guy that did what he had to do with the other team, definitely feel like he's a great uh, insertion to the team. I feel like he's going to carry the team, the defense, uh, to, a, to a, 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 a good season. What do you think fans should expect from the Jets' defense in 2018, Lorenzo? Man, to be honest, this guy is – the sky is not even a limit for us, man. Like we got a we got a, a great secondary. We got the the D, the D line is all coming back, uh, with the exception of Mo. Um, and you know, with 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 our linebacker core, I mean, I feel good. Like I definitely feel like we can push we can push ourselves further than what we we've, we've been doing for the for the past four years that I've been here. I feel good. Um, I feel good about this season. Definitely feel good about this season. So, Lorenzo, we've known you in the past, and you, you have some pretty good dance moves. So, if the dancing defense breaks out again this year, are you going to take part in that, or are you be like Jordan Jenkins and kind of watch everybody? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big goofy, so I, I, I'm going to be a part of it. I definitely have to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the last question. First of all, thank you, man. You know, we're just we're big fans. We always appreciate you coming on. Do you have a message full of Jet fans out there? Because you know, dude, we are fired up. Training camp two weeks away. Do you have a message for everybody out there? Man, this, I, I mean, I'm not the one to talk, but literally just just keep your eyes open for me. That's all I have to say. I mean, I've been going for a year, but you'll know when I'm back. Can't wait. Lorenzo, for, thank you for coming out on Sunday, and thank you for joining us tonight, man. We really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, you guys, for having me. Thank you. Have a good night, man. Thank you. All right. You too. When we take care of our own hearts, we're also taking care of the people closest to us. So it's comforting to know that RWJ Barnabas Health has New Jersey's most comprehensive cardiac care program with access to top specialists, minimally invasive heart surgery options, and rehabilitation and wellness programs. So get your heart checked 
It's as easy as visiting rwjbh.org slash heart. RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together. Welcome to the Total Wireless Store, where total confidence awaits. Our daughter's off to summer camp, and we're worried our network coverage won't reach her. Don't worry. You got this with Total Wireless. Our phones run on the nation's best 4G LTE network. It'll be like she never left. The nation's best network? I feel better already. Now you can focus on how you're spending your summer. Discover the Total Wireless stores and get total confidence. The latest phones, the best network, all at great prices. Now open in New York. Refer to the latest terms and conditions of service at TotalWireless.com.